CCTV recently released a short clip revealing China cruise missile and anti-ship missiles engine components automated production line. This is only one part of factory automated facilities. China has significantly upgraded missile manufacture process technologies and produces most advanced cruise missiles and anti-ship missiles. As shown in the video, there is very little human labor involved in the production lines. The daily output of this factory, reportedly, is over 1,000 missiles if it operates 24 hours a day. Such efficient production lines are to reduce the cost of missiles considerably, and ensure to be able to meet a demand during a wartime. It will also supply enough to meet ever-increasing demand for missiles in the international markets. Turning to Mr. Huang Ruasong's model development history, that is basically a history of the development of China's anti-ship and cruise missiles. Starting from the upstream, one, China's first type of anti-ship missile, the models he worked on covered short range, medium range, and long range, which covered launch platforms from shore to ship, ship to ship, air to air, and air to ground missiles. The speed of missiles includes subsonic speed, high subsonic speed, supersonic speed and hypersonic speed. My dream is, the sky allows me however to fly, the ocean allows me however to sail. My experience from decades working on missiles taught me to stick to my ideals and dreams. We must persist in self-reliance, work hard, and take the path of continuous innovation. I'm still striving. Regarding the development of cruise missiles and anti-ship missiles, I summarize them as modernizations in 10 aspects covering systems, full area, information, networking, integration, intelligence, precision, stealth, unmanned, and clusters. After decades, based on the basic serialization we explored for a new generation, pre-research for a new generation, developed a new generation, and then finally produced a new generation of missiles. Applied these four stages of development ideas for a new generation of missiles, our current missile spectrum has covered far, medium, and short ranges, with subsonic, supersonic, and hypersonic speeds. They can strike a variety of targets, including fixed targets on land, ship targets, and underwater submarine targets. The cruise missiles and anti-ship missiles we have developed are comparable to the most advanced missiles in the world. Some technologies in several models are actually ahead of the rest of the world. Entering the digital flexible production line, there is no intense labor activity seen. There was almost no worker in sight. All mechanized CNC machine tools process parts here. A robotic arm grabs the part and places it on a conveyor belt. Let's take a look at how this specific engine part is processed. Here, these continuous flows of unfinished parts will be sent to the three-dimensional warehouse in front of me through intelligent guidance cars for temporary storage. The stacker will take out the parts that need to be processed according to the needs of the equipment. The smart car will transport the parts to the plane buffer area. The truss robot then grabs the part. After the equipment sends a completion signal of processing, the truss mechanical arm will then place the parts on the designated equipment for finishing. The truss manipulator has two arms. One can grab the finished product, and the other can put an unfinished part to be processed. This design is to save the delivery time. In just a few seconds, these engine parts are fed to the CNC machine. Product accuracy and processing requirements have all been input into these CNC machine tools.
This 5-axis linkage CNC machine tool is operating automatically. Why is it called a 5-axis machine tool? If you look carefully, the five axes process the five pentahedron surfaces of the component simultaneously. This tooling machine operates with a high degree of freedom. This not only greatly improves processing efficiency, but also greatly improves accuracy. It can meet the various needs of high reliability manufacturing. Mr. Ding, has this digital intelligent production line opened your eyes? Yes, I have never seen such a big scene in our institute. This is my first time visiting. When we developed solid rocket motors in the old days, the production conditions and capabilities were much worse than now. However, the steel structure of our solid rocket motor was simple and did not require such complex processing equipment. Now our 31st Research Institute has the ability to develop, produce, and test the engines for various missiles. From physical labor to automation, from process intelligence to regional intelligence schemes, our missile engine manufacturing is moving step by step towards a truly unmanned and fully digital.